All right, everybody. So let's uh, let's talk about flesh and blood and what I think they did wrong with auras. Um, one of the big things that we've been having confusion on across the community <clears throat> and across the board for some people, not everybody, is that auras should be able to be attacked. And the reason for that being is because of prism. Prism's auras can be targeted, um, and that's because of spectra. I believe, in my opinion, that Spectra was one of the best and worst things put on cards. Um, the reason being, I think it was amazing that Spectra was made because now it can be slapped on anything. Um, it can be slapped on equipment. It can be slapped on your, your weapons. It can be put on anything, <clears throat> which now means if it's put on a card or a weapon or anything like that, it means that that can be targeted now and it can be destroyed. Um... I don't think we'll see it on some of those things, but we could. It also means that it can be put on allies or any other card that is printed that we don't know of yet in existence. Um, where I think they screwed up was putting Spectra on her stuff. And the reason being is, is because we already knew allies were coming. And I really think that her auras should have been allies that if they were targeted, they died. Basically doing the same thing that Spectra does, but without having Spectra. Because Spectra is so weird because it made everything confusing. Because now her auras can be attacked because of Spectra. Everyone had this confusion that all auras can be attacked. And that's really not the case. And personally, I think that all auras should be able to be targeted. Because it doesn't make sense that Bravo can drop an aura that gives him plus 9... And Prism just drops an aura that gives her plus one to a couple of attacks. Now, granted, everyone can come at me and say, well, she can re attack repetitively. Bravo gets plus nine, swings for nine, and has dominate. That's game for a blitz. That's game. Game over. Rest in peace. Your soul's dead. Um, I swing for one or two, have plus one. Math doesn't equal. <laughs> doesn't equal. Um... So I think that those auras should be able to be targeted, even for people like Bravo and Affliction auras. I think they should be able to be targeted. You are wasting an attack. Um, now, should they have put something in there similar to Spectra so that you pay a penalty when attacking auras? Yes and no. That's more of a debatable topic that needs to be discussed in a later video. But other than that, guys, um, I really think we could have seen a lot better ally slash auras for prism since we already had allies in the works we already knew they were coming um i think it would have been a nice little teaser here to throw them in as well because we already had allies in this set um as well so i don't understand why they didn't print an ally onto that and then give that ally a specific feature like spectra for prism um Spectra is nice, like I said, though, because it does mean that you now have to watch out for it being put on anything. Um, other than that, I'll leave that food for thought. If you guys have any other comments on why it should or shouldn't be, go ahead and drop a comment and we'll try to get back to you guys. Until then, we'll see you on the flip side.